much, Ernest, for uh, having us here in uh, South Africa. Pleasure. With this uh, new car, the Rolls Royce done, and uh, this is a, another car that has come recently from Rolls Royce that is transforming the company a lot, huh? Yeah, what we have done over the last uh, years is, uh, particularly after we have introduced Ghost, then came Wraith, we have seen more and more younger customers coming to us. And uh, for instance, we have reduced our average age by over 10 years from 55, which was in 2009, wow. very much phantom driven, of course, uh -huh. down to 45 in the meantime. Particular race, the drophead coupe. That car is fantastic. Lot, yeah, <laughs> I'm going to tell you. a lot to get, let's say, younger customer in, also people who used to drive Ferraris. Not saying that they've sold their Ferraris, but they've put an additional car into their garage. Yeah. And uh, it is anyhow very much in line with what you see with ultra high net worth individuals, people earning lots of money, that they are getting younger and that they are making their own way and their own fortune. Yeah, and the car is also making a statement in terms of like, as you said, like still the Phantom and the Ghost. But the car is making a statement with these kind of things, like this color combination are fantastic. I just had a ride in Miami a few weeks ago and it had the lemon, the yellow lemon interior. It was black outside and then you open the door and wow. Yeah, yeah. And in a way it's shocking, but it like fits perfectly because it's like the perfection of luxury, I think. Yeah, exactly. And this car here, particular that Mandarin orange fits to the name because the name is dawn the, the sun rises yeah. and this here resembles a little bit that uh, absolutely rising dawn particular when you open the roof outside the car is dark and then you open the roof and here comes the sun okay so let's do that um, and uh, we go for a little drive so good like take the top off i guess Could uh, take yeah. the top off. in south okay, africa today actually buckle up yeah safety first as always uh here in south africa today it's a little bit cloudy but uh a, a nice day to still drive the car and this car can be driven even in the cold in <laughs> with the top off because it has like so many things that makes you feel comfortable absolutely. all the time, right? And what we should also notice is no noise. When you open know, the roof, absolutely. it's absolutely silent. Yeah? And we've put lots of engineering effort in getting it so silent. Yeah. And what you hear is nothing. I know. So, well, before you open it, we couldn't hear anything from the outside either. And that makes another point in terms of how well it's isolated. I mean, right. it's like a lot of layers, I understand. Of, of Six material. layers. Six layers. Yes, and it is definitely the quietest convertible on earth, uh, the quietest, quiet, quietest ever built convertible. And it is from the sound level inside when you close the roof on the same level as a race would be. So it is basically two cars in one. Yeah. When it's closed, it's a lovely three box coupe, whilst when it's open, it's lovely. So this is based on the right, but it's different in dimensions or it's more or less the same space? Uh, it is uh, in comparison to. Um, wheel base and all that very much race uh, engine is ghost yeah. and the car is also differently poised in a way how it drives and how it feels of course because we want to give every car a different character so let's go for a little drive Good. and uh, i Brilliant. mean this uh, this car is again obviously a rolls race and we're seeing here to the side of us original goes from 1952 i this understand 28 exactly. were built right this is 52 silver dawn a car which was at that point in time the Dolce Vita yeah. uh, car for Rolls Royce, right after uh, the war ended and everybody wanted to have, yeah, let's say, a little bit of fun and experience. This was the perfect car to do so. So um, you came to Rolls Royce in 2010, I understand, and uh, the automotive industry has changed a lot. Right. So um, Rolls Royce is also changing, and we has seen a. Uh, transformation and really not only introducing new cars but also as we were saying before like making it younger fun, uh, more fun and, and more attractive to more people right i mean as you say it's six years now uh, uh, i have the honor to ride this lovely company yeah. and to run this company but massive changes of course and uh, one very important change is of course that you see the type of clienteles changing, which are in the league to buy a Rolls Royce. Yeah. They are getting younger, they are getting more relaxed, they are getting uh, more and more uh, uh, stylish and everything. They want to drive a more casual kind of Rolls Royce. Yeah. And we cater particularly here with Dawn, but also Wraith and Ghost. Ghost already was a very sub subtle way to drive a Rolls Royce in comparison to what the Phantom is. Yeah. So this, I think, was a very important move and is also the reason why we had been so successful here over the last uh, uh, six years. We have basically quadrupled the volume over That's the last, amazing. Uh, which is really good. And uh, you, you hear me normally not talking about volume, 
but I mean it's an indication that the business is really good for us and uh, that we have doing good and I mean we are in that segment of over 250,000 euros over 250,000 US dollars and uh, we are clearly dominating that segment here worldwide. Yeah. And then like there's plans for something else very special I think coming in 2018. Uh, yeah I mean what we have announced recently is that uh, the current Phantom runs out this year yeah. in production this year uh, we will also permanently discontinue uh, the Phantom Coupe and the Phantom uh, Drop Head Coupe and that might be also a kind of alarm signal for collectors to say oh if this I guy know. ends now because that's what happened with these exactly. cars yeah? they are definitely and will be collectors items we have only built a couple of hundred cars for Drop Head Coupes and also Phantom Coupes and I make a bet with you, Javier, when, when we talk in 15, 20 years, these cars will be collector's items sitting on a Pebble Beach lawn or whatever. And really something which, if I would be a collector, I would immediately get me one of those. All um, right. And then you're uh, bringing in an SUV too, right? Yeah. What we do is we bring in 2018 the new Phantom. This yeah. is what we have announced. And then after we have uh, brought Phantom into the market, then comes the next project. The project is currently called Kalinin, and that is that SUV kind of car, uh, which we're all very much looking forward to. Also something which will transform the brand again, and which is for me also an important cornerstone in our strategy to address new people and uh, to reach out to new people. Obviously, you've been very successful everywhere in the world. Uh, but the US remains the main market? The US is our biggest market worldwide. It had been our biggest market always for years, also in former, former times. And um, so for that reason, it is what I would say probably also in the near future, always our number one market, particularly when it comes to Dawn. Our second biggest market in the meantime is Middle East. Yeah. Amazing yeah, how this market had developed over the last couple of years. And um, then of course followed by Asian markets, Europe, China. So we are nicely, I would say, balanced worldwide. We have 130 dealers worldwide and all over the globe, basically. Yeah. And still, I mean, even you quadruple your production in, in the past few years, but still a very exclusive car and, it, and that's the strategy, I guess, like getting models a few years in the production and then like retire them to be, to bring something new, but also to add value to the existing models. Yeah, of course. Uh, the way how we add value is uh, particular with uh, our bespoke program you are yeah. very well aware of, where basically our customers can, can commission whatever they like. And it's not marketing puff. It is really that your imagination is our limit. Yeah. We can build basically everything. And it's not only colors or, or maybe different woods. It's all sorts of things. Yeah. And uh, that also is for our customers important because one thing is for sure. If you are in the league of buying a Rolls Royce, you want to make sure that nobody else has the same car. Yeah. And that you are really, in a way, very exclusive with that car. And uh, we offer that. We are inviting customers over to Goodwood. They sit together with our designers. They bespoke the car completely. It is as if you would create your own piece of art. And I think that is a great thing we can offer and where we have. And when I saw that uh, 1952 Silver done down there, and then thinking about how they make those cars in, in, in the, those years, like really, like by hand, that's still the process in Rolls Royce, even though, I mean, there's technology, there's a lot of, uh, human element to it. Absolutely. It's it's craftsmanship at its best. I mean, we have excellent uh, craftspeople uh, with us in Goodwood. People you even normally wouldn't find in the automotive industry. So, for instance, people who are able to uh, paint a coach line by hand. All the coach lines on, oh, our, really? hand, on our cars are hand painted. This is not done by robots or whatever. Wow. It is done by two individuals in Goodwood who are able to do that. And that is, for instance, art in itself. Then, of course, when you look into all our people who are doing wood, uh, a leather shop with embroidery and everything you want to see, this is all manual. Mm -hmm. And it takes in total 800 hours until yeah, yeah. the new Rolls Royce is ready. So it takes really a long, long time. And I think that's good because our promise is also excellent quality absolutely we are mad with quality and i think that's right and we need to be fixed on with quality yeah and you can see it in every single detail in this car i mean the woodwork and uh, everywhere you touch or see 
you feel like the, 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 the level that you will expect from a Rolls Royce. Right, yeah, yeah, of course. And I mean, uh, you can expect that also because you're also paying a significant amount of money Absolutely. for our products. So you can expect excellence. Well, uh, I feel very fortunate to have the opportunity to be here, but more importantly to be with you here driving the car. I mean, uh, what a great experience. So I really, really appreciate the, the opportunity. Brilliant. And uh, we're going to keep enjoying here South Africa. In great, Indiana. definitely. And rest assured, these clouds will burn away over the day <laughs> and we will see sunshine coming back in the next couple of Absolutely. hours. Absolutely. Yeah? Thank All you right. very much, Rustin. Pleasure. Thank Jelly. you. Thanks.